democracy is really a do-it-yourself kind of political system, but it depends on a strong sense of individual agency. Now, if, though, you have a very different understanding of human nature, you don't believe in human agency. You think that what people think is conditioned into them yeah. by the social forces right, that they are born into. That, you know, there's a linguistic version of this. We all learn different languages, but built into the grammars of different languages are, are very different assumptions about the way the world work. But human beings are born into different language groups, and they're never going to be able to think objectively about the way the world is or even communicate meaningfully with people in other language groups. So that's going to be one variation. And that's a philosophical issue that's been powerfully advocated in the 20th century, and it feeds into our our positions right now. If you think that people are born into different economic circumstances, and again, those different economic circumstances dramatically mold people into different kinds of beings, then you're going to have a class warfare understanding. The classes will never be able to understand each other, and they don't even have the same economic issues. If you think it's a matter of ethnicity, not so much economics, that you're born into an ethnic group, and language might be a part of that, economic issues might be a part of that, but rather it is your, you know, your, your Polish ethnicity or your Korean ethnicity that gets deep and that shapes who you are. And so first and foremost, you're not an individual, but rather you're a Korean or you're a Pole or whatever. Then again, you're going to have a different understanding of uh, where values come from and so forth, and a different kind of politics. So is this at heart the problem arising out of identity politics? It is. It is. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this is why uh, I think the, the philosophical debate over volition versus determinism yeah. is, is fundamental. It's not an accident that all of the classical liberals were strong believers in volition, individual moral responsibility. The Marxists are pure environmental determinists. Uh, the the, the Saper-Whorf hypothesis linguistically that I just threw out, mm. very powerful in, uh, in linguistics. American pragmatism of the John Dewey variety, very much a collectivized understanding of, of, of human formation and anti-individualistic. And I think it's also important to emphasize the biological versions of this as well. So if you are, uh, 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 for example, take Freudian psychology, which is very biologically based, that we have as human beings instincts that have been bred into us in varying degrees. Well, you're not really an individual with any sort of autonomy to think about it. Rather, you know, your, your individual rational agency and your moral agency is just this very thin civilizational veneer that's laying over underlying instinctual biological drives. Pretty and sad so, and low view of human, well, it uh, is. your fellow humans, really. What identity politics has produced, certainly in this country, is a desertion of the idea that we ought to celebrate and participate in freedom, and if we're responsible, we will look for people who are still being marginalised and try and include them, you know, out of a generosity of spirit and doing what you ought to by your neighbour because, you know, that's the right thing to do, to a situation now where we say to people, well, you have rights, uh, but by the way, they're uh, clashing rights, so you've got to compete for your rights. Mm -hmm. And so we've set up all of this discrimination uh, and anti-discrimination legislation in this country over the last nearly 60 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, uh, you know, and you have your rights basically determined by technocrats increasingly, mm. including in the legal profession and in the courts. Uh, and so now we have to go and compete for our rights. Somehow it's very counterintuitive. It's nowhere near as noble as saying we'll celebrate freedom, we'll exercise freedom, and we'll try and create the greatest freedoms possible for ourselves and everyone around us. Yeah. 